It's getting hot outside, so we're going to talk about hydration today. Uh, big shout out to Natural Grocers. I just realized in Natural Grocers that every single one of their water companies is a spring water. Uh, or it has minerals added back to it. Uh, why are minerals so important for hydration? Why is spring water so important for hydration rather than using like a distilled water or a filtered water or tap water? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. So it's important to understand that minerals are crucial to hydration. And that's why athletes, especially triathletes, marathon runners, they know the importance of electrolytes when they are trying to stay hydrated during a race. So what does this mean? It basically means that without minerals or just filtered purified tap water, you're not getting the crucial gatekeeping minerals that allow the water to get into the cell and actually hydrate you. You're in effect just peeing the water out. And that's where spring water comes in because it's naturally occurring source of rich electrolyte minerals that we need to hydrate our body, especially during these hot days in summer. It's also crucial to understand that mineral devoid water like tap water or purified water or distilled water, it actually draws minerals into it. That's how a, a compound like that works. It actually draws minerals in. So what is that doing when you drink that? It's drawing your minerals into it. Uh, therefore, pulling electrolytes out of your body and not allowing you to retain those electrolytes that you need to stay hydrated. What if you're in a pinch though and you, you only have filtered water or tap water and not spring water? Well, adding a pinch of sea salt is a great way to add some minerals back into your water, which will actually help hydrate you more. This is why things like Gatorade, Powerade, they actually add sodium to their drinks because they know the value of adding those minerals back to their products and how it hydrates people better. So the point of all this is really simple. Filtered water is great. Um, aren't we glad that we have it? It protects us from bacteria and pathogens and microbes. But we want to add the key electrolytes uh, and the things that help us stay hydrated back in, those minerals and electrolytes. So you can easily add in uh, like these Nun tablets uh, that are electrolyte tablets on a pinch. These things are great. Keep these in my mountain biking pack, things like that. But here's one that you can simply do at home. Uh, it's really easy. Take a lime and we get our potassium from a lime squeezed in there. Now we're going to take a, a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. There's our sodium. Now we're going to take about a half teaspoon of magnesium. You can get powdered magnesium really easy at Natural Grocers or Whole Foods on Amazon. So we have our, our potassium, our sodium, and our magnesium. I like to add a little bit of stevia for taste. And boom, we have a super hydrating limeade water. All water is not created equal. I feel like this is something that we should have been taught in school. Um, this is something that we should be teaching our children on how to properly hydrate instead of just drink more water and your doctor will tell you if you're hydrated, your pee will be clear. That's not accurate. So hope this was helpful. Stay hydrated. It's hot out there. Muscles and veggies. More tips at you soon.